in blue. We have starting for Team Acer. We have Scarlet. And, uh, her opponent starting to the bottom right of the map in red is, of course, the Star Tail player. It is Parting. Parting up 2 0 in this series. Just needs to take one more win here to advance. And talking about the current score in this game, we have a few updates for you guys. Just talking about the matches that are being played at the same time. Baby Knight is down two maps already against Hero. He's famous for his Protoss versus Protoss. He was able to defeat Rain yesterday with a 2-0, but today he's struggling a little bit. Hero so far definitely is better. And we have Sen with a lead against Curious. And we have Scarlet with a 10 pool. Yeah, that is also pretty interesting. That's exactly what we said earlier when the series started, that she might go for a different strategy. And you know what the funny thing is? Parting is going for this pilot in the main base once again, which means that he does not scout. Yeah, he doesn't scout. He's not going to have a wall. We go gate ah, first. Gate instead of uh, yeah, instead of forge. Yeah. You know, uh, when you go for a forge in the main, it actually is really good against early pool builds because you can just make your cannon in your main and you don't lose your forge either. Yep. Your natural. Um, but at the same time, with no wall, if Scarlet gets in there, she could definitely do some damage before the zealot is out. So it's all going to come down to micro. And this is kind of a, a funny strategy that Parting's doing. I wonder what his plan is overall. We've seen a small resurgence of four gateway attacks, not really a, a new trend. Um, but I, I don't think that's what we're going to see. I think more likely we're going to see a one gateway century expand. This is going to be so interesting. I want to know how Scarlet is going to approach this. She actually drones after the six initial Zerglings. She doesn't really go all out with the Zergling production. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Six Zerglings, how much damage will they be able to do, especially since Parting has now started his Zealot, and he has to Chrono Boost the Gateway. Yeah, he went core before Zealot even. It's like he, he doesn't care. He's not Chrono Boosting the Zealot either. Yeah, he has the energy, but he doesn't really do it, does he? He's just waiting, and he's like, okay, I'll be fine, my Zealot will be out, and with the help of the probes, I can defend here. Scarlet still on her way, building drones and aiming for an expansion. This lack of using Chrono Boost means that he's got to use it for something else, and I wonder what that's going to be. Now, six Lings can kill a Zealot, but obviously, as you said, using the probes to help out is going to make that very difficult. One probe already goes down, though. Really nice micro by Scarlet. If the Zealot steps out of line... He's going to get trapped and she yeah. will kill him. That's exactly what she's going for right now. She tries to bait Parting out of this pocket where all the probes can help as well. Oh, what sick micro by Parting. Nice save on the probe here with the mineral walk. Really, really well done. Yep. Even controlling it again. Now that the stalker's out, this is going to be the end of the attack. But a lot of, of damage done here by Scarlet. Her hatchery is a little bit delayed, but at the same time, Parting is, has a little bit of a late base himself. Now, the Chrono Boost has is uh, check his, his nexus really quick actually if you don't mind i want to see what he's been using on okay so now he's hitting his nexus and he's hitting the gateway so definitely just gonna be using that chrono boost he wanted to save it for mostly getting those sentries out as soon as possible so he can hold his nexus definitely gonna do an expansion and yeah, the expansion is now also up for scarlet parting with a bit of a later nexus and he can't be too aggressive at this point he wants to take down this overlord and the overlord will die which is of course at this point very very annoying for scarlet Losing the Overlord this early doesn't only supply block you, it takes up an additional lava, you lose, lose the 100 minerals too, so it's very annoying. But Parting can't be as aggressive with the gateway first as he wanted to be, because he knows, okay, there's an early pool, Zerklings are out there, she knows what I'm doing, and she might actually go for speed a bit earlier, and then I can't move out, and this is exactly what Scarlet is doing. Yeah. Now, here's the first semblance of a wall for Parting. He hasn't started plus one, obviously without a forge, that's impossible. Um, and <laughs> yeah, you can try, but usually it doesn't work. Yeah, uh, you're, you're just going to find yourself constantly looking around the map for a forge and eventually just making one. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually just try to tell your zealots to do, I don't know, push-ups or anything yeah. like that. And tell Sharpen them to get their blades yeah, or exactly. something like that. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's, you always wonder how our actual attack upgrades work. I mean, it's researched, but then what does that mean, like, Suddenly, his elf is on the other side of the map is just told the better way to attack, and then he, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they are equipped with better weapons, I guess. Yeah, this Overlord has been hunted. Yeah, and this Overlord is going to die. There's just no way it she's, will go down. <laughs> she's trying to, to buy some time, and in fact, uh, so far so good. It hasn't been really supply blocked out of the norm just <laughs> Run, yet. Forest, run! Nope. The Ling <laughs> is so... Uh, pesky here, but <laughs> Ling actually should leave because 
Well, he's actually going to run away with the stalker. That Ling was so brave, the stalker got scared. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> she's actually microing it, too. She's actually going to get some damage done to the stalker and gets away with the Ling. You know, the Ling is like one of these small dogs that will always bark at you and never let go. Yeah. And then you turn around and you growl at him once and he's like, and runs away. Exactly. That's basically what we just saw. <laughs> Twelve drones come out here for Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet now with the three bases is in a pretty decent position. I mean, she's behind in Harvestus, but not for long because of the 12 drones that you just mentioned. And she has three bases up now. Two queens, another one, of course, being built, heading into Lair and getting additional gas. So she's just setting the... Yeah, she's just setting everything up for the mid-game now. She wants to have the tech, but what exactly is Parting now going to do? So far, he has uh, four gates. Look at going his... To have five. Yeah, look at his wall at the natural. I really like how he set up those gateways. That's really cool. But do you think this is going... Oh, wow, these two, uh, the pylon and the zealot here are also pretty awesome. Another pylon at the back closing the wall off. That's awesome. I really, really like that. There's no way for a Ling to get in. Do it you really think, though, that this is going to do too much damage? No, I don't. Oh, wow, the road run. Look at the timing of the road run. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think he... I think she might have actually forgotten the road run. That happened yesterday already to a few players. Yeah, and the... The thing is, the spines are, are almost done. It's all going to come down to the four seals here. The lings are going to want to... They, they would have wanted to buy time, but it's already too late. And, he, and she actually pulls the drones up. She knows this is not going to happen. And wow, all the drones getting taken out here as well as the queen. And this is looking really scary oh for Scarlet God. now. The spine crawler is vulnerable. It's going to die. The lings try to escape. But again, great four seals by parting. Uh, well done by parting. And Scarlet now building the first few roaches. But yeah, the timing for the roach one was definitely a little bit off yeah, here. With the build that parting chose, he is now in the perfect position to take down the third. And there is nothing that Scarlet can do about it. He's basically just attacked here without immortals using sentries and stalkers. And since there are no roaches... I mean, that's why the Immortal push is so strong, because it's good against Roaches, the core unit the Zerg wants to have out. But if there's no Roaches, then Parting just walks up a ramp. And I think he's even surprised right now. He's like, oh, you you just don't really have anything. Oh, my God. The block at the ramp now with the force fields. Beautiful force fields used by Parting, taking down not only the spine crawler but also the two queens at the front. Even drones being used in Scarlet decides it's time to GG. Game over. And the Canadian player is out of the tournament. Parting advances to the round of eight. Yeah, really nice play by Parting in all three games. A little bit strange.